Well, good day viewers and welcome back to Colour in Your Life. Uh, we're down at Werribee today near Melbourne, a uh, little chilly, wintertime exploration. Yes. And I'm with a delightful lady called Janet Knight. Welcome to the show, Janet. Thank you very much. It's wonderful to be here. Uh, Janet has an amazing setup. She's also a professional art teacher, apart from being a professional artist. And she has the most magnificent studio down here attached to her uh, home where she actually does workshops with obviously a lot of the artists in the area. Yes. But Janet also paints some really beautiful natural scenes. I mean, I love landscapes. Uh, she has waterfalls, the way that she puts them together. She uses a number of different type of techniques to do that. But you're, you've got a background. You did a uh, diploma in fine arts from Ballarat University That's in right. 1984. That's right. And then from there, you've really had an extensive experience uh, as far as a teacher and an artist. Can you tell me a little bit about that at all? Well, following uni, I worked in advertising. Mm -hmm. That was for a few years. And yeah. then uh, after that, children came along and as they do. As they do. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to sort of squeeze things in. But teaching just sort of followed from, from that. And then I enjoyed it so much that so I just kept going and kept learning and and and, and my studio sort of expanded and sure. classes expanded and it's all just it's all just flowed on from there so it's been very very incredible so yeah and you've really made very. she's really made a great success out of, of what you've done and you know it's very hard to sort of balance that and juxtapose the whole thing with an artist being right brained and then being left brained but it sounds like you're Right, well, right in the middle of that. I just try to be organised, that's all. I wouldn't okay. say I'm very mathematical. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I'm, very, I'm a very organised person. So, um, yeah, I just try to keep, keep the ball rolling, keep yeah. everything, everything running smoothly and it, it works and everyone has a great time here and, and you know, I love to paint and, yeah, yeah so I've got, I've got a good life. Yeah, and, I, and she's, <laughs> she's won numerous awards as well. I mean, there are a number of you looked uh, around the studio and there's even uh, a little shop in there where she sells stuff as well, which is just great. But you can see all of the awards that uh, Janet's actually won over the years, which is pretty amazing. But we're going to uh, do uh, two landscape pieces today yes. and then show you guys the techniques. And she does, I mean, wonderful reflection, tremendous atmosphere in these pieces. It's it's sort of like that, that nature that you, you put into it. You make these up as well. They're sort of like a montage of ideas. But the fact is that they're just so pure in the sense of what nature's all about. And uh, I think that you're going to uh, help us see into that today. I hope so, Grant. That'd be great. So. Okay, well, okay. Let's, go and have, let's go and have a look then. Okay, well, I can see you've got some glad wrap over your palette there. And you've actually had these in the freezer. I have. And the reason that the glad wrap is there? Well, it depends on how long you're working on the on the painting for Graham, uh -huh. because um, working on this style of painting uh, generally two, three weeks maybe on the one particular painting mm -hmm. on and off. Sure. So what I would do is I would wrap it in cling wrap, keeps all the oxygen out away from the paint, and then I will pop it in the freezer, and the freezer just keeps it in a bit of a sub suspended animation. It doesn't actually freeze sure. the pigment. It keeps it quite loose mm -hmm. and I can take it straight from the freezer, take my cling wrap off and away I go. Ready to go. And once the painting is, is finished, or you think it's almost finished, I generally will let it sit for a couple of days uh -huh. and then I will study it even before I sign it. So I will just keep looking, looking at the painting, can I improve it? Sure. What else? What, what else can I add to it to to create interest? It talks to you in the end, anyway, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. It does. And I think that that that's just that little bit of um, time and patience and energy that you put into the last last minute details yeah. is very important. 